Hi, Anna. Welcome to this week's edition of the Week Ahead. Um, looking ahead to next week, on Monday, the Labor and Housing Committee will have a day full of workers' comp bills. Um, we'll be opposing these bills as they add cost to the system and they make some fundamental changes to the Workers' Comp Act of 1992, the reforms that have been so important to the, this state's economic success. On Wednesday, there's a very significant hearing, only 1335, 1345, excuse me. This is the bill that would set up a restrictive scheduling law in this state. It would require employers to give all, anybody who's on a schedule, advance notice and require employers to do premium pay if there are any changes to it. Um, it really takes away the flexibility of a business to meet not only that week's production or, or whatever it is, service delivery, but on a going forward basis. And when you combine it with the new mandatory paid sick leave, which likely to come, it really adds significant costs. So we've, we're part of a broad coalition that's in opposition to the bill and we'll be testifying against it on Wednesday. Megan? This week, the Education Com Committee excuse me, will have work sessions on the student nutrition bills that had public hearings last week. The Education Committee will be doing their report back to appropriations on the budget this week. Later in the week, there are public hearings on a number of bills that would address workforce needs and specifically will be supporting LD 799, which is the University of Maine Systems bill that would increase nursing faculty at their university. Right now they're having a really hard time attracting nursing faculty because nurses can make more in hospitals than they can teach it. Environment and Natural Resources and the Energy Committee this week. Uh, this week is Solid Waste Week before the Natural Resources Committee. Wednesday, uh, they're dealing with uh, four solid waste bills. Uh, whenever we're dealing with solid waste legislation, we look at you know what is the cost of the business community at the end of the day for those tipping fees and, and what have you. So LD401 is the big one there. We'll be there for that. Yeah, there's a lot going on work session wise in the Energy and Utilities uh, Committee this week. But I'd like to highlight one thing because there's so much going on in so many different topics is as a chamber we've decided to hold an energy summit because there are so many pieces of legislation. I use this opportunity to say on April 26th at Maple Hill Farm in Hollowell we're going to be holding an energy summit covering a vast array of topics. But as a keynote speaker we do have Gordon Van Whaley who is the president of ISO New England who manages the New England market uh, for electricity is going to be our keynote speaker and we're going to be talking about topics from it's all day from 9 to 3 from transportation cost to industrial cost to our electric market to retiring generation. If you're interested in energy and energy costs, but April 26, it's a Friday, 9 to 3 on your calendar. Linda? In tax on Wednesday, we have local option. All five bills, local option tax bills, they will be worked on Wednesday. Um, we're just going to be monitoring that to see what's going to happen with the committee. Um, they could be tabled till later in the session, but we, we're not sure. So we are going to be monitoring that on Wednesday, a big day. That is it for us. As always, it's a very busy session, and we thank you for joining us, and tune in next week. And stay classy, man.